In the vast tapestry of global ministry, there exists a gathering unlike any other, a convergence of hearts and minds seeking divine wisdom and renewal. For two decades, the Give Thyself Holy Conference, birthed under the visionary leadership of Dag Heward Mills, has stood as a beacon of spiritual rejuvenation for pastors, church leaders, and ministers from every corner of the globe. Nestled within the sprawling Anakazo Bible and Ministry Training Center, this annual assembly transcends mere congregation. It becomes a sacred nexus of God's presence, where the thirsty come to drink deeply from the well of divine truth. Under the anointed teaching of Dag Heward Mills, hearts are stirred, minds are enlightened, and spirits are ignited with a passion for God's word. God is giving you a new idea. A new idea is coming into your life, to your ministry, and is going to be the reason why you will break the stalemate and the draw. And the draw. Yes. Inspired by a deep-seated conviction to share the teachings that transformed his own ministry, Dag Heward Mills launched the Iron Sharpeneth Iron Conference in 2004. It began as a small camp meeting in a dining hall of the Commonwealth Hall on the campus of the University of Ghana. The conference was held in the Commonwealth Hall in 2004 and 2005 and in the Kauli Ghana Cathedral in 2006. As the years progressed, the conference witnessed increasing numbers of pastors from many different countries across the globe. In 2007, the Iron Sharpeneth Iron Conference was held in the recently completed multi-purpose church complex by Dag Heward Mills, the Kodesh. The Kodesh hosted the conference for 10 years until, in 2017, the conference was first held on the breathtaking campus of the Anakazo Bible and Ministry Training Center. This gathering, later renamed the Give Thyself Holy Conference, swiftly became a cornerstone event for ministers hungry for spiritual empowerment and practical wisdom. Through thought-provoking themes like the Road to Calvary, each conference session became a conduit of divine revelation. To the voice of God is crucial in becoming significant. Loyalty and disloyalty. My father, my father. The anointing and how to be anointed. Demystifying the anointing. Doing the works of Jesus. Building the church. Foundations of ministry work. Art of shepherding. Je partage avec vous sur l'art d'être berger. Which is the art of leadership. Ce qui est l'art du leadership. Transform your ministry. Changing levels. The wisdom of church planting. When I sent you, lacked ye anything? Wisdom is the principal thing. Prodigal Ministries. The Spirit entered into me 2021. How I came to be anointed. The Good General. Over these two transformative decades, the Give Thyself Holy Conference has not merely impacted lives. It has birthed a movement. Dag Heward Mills 
is perhaps the biggest follower of the teachings and wisdom the anointing has given him. By obeying the very message the Lord has given him, his own ministry has seen growth in proportions that can only be described as supernatural. From a classroom, his church has expanded into over 6,000 churches, 40 denominations, and with presence in over 90 nations of the world. Doug Heward Mills has authored over 100 books with over 50 million copies in 54 languages of the world. The fruits of this ministry are evident in the countless lives touched, the churches planted, and the communities transformed. I was introduced to Bishop in 2008 when a young man told me about a book called Loyalty and Disloyalty. The scripture in Chronicles 2020, 2 Chronicles 2020, means a lot to me. Believe in God, you will be established. Believe in His prophets, and you will be moved forward. You will be chalaked, you will prosper. And I believe this is what really happened to me as I was struggling with my little church here in Cape Town. The Lord, by His Holy Spirit, led me to meet Bishop Daguerre most because I needed a bit of a pushing forward. I needed to be chalaked. After this meeting in 2010, Bishop Dag came to visit us in Cape Town. I also believe this was the Lord's leading. In 2011, we had a beautiful visit from Bishop Dag. I gathered a few churches together and we had a wonderful few days in the presence of the Lord. 2011, the same year, I was invited to Ghana and I was introduced as a board member by the grace of God. And it's since that time that I've been coming to GTW. It was at that time called Iron Sharpens Iron. And it's been such a blessing. The teachings, the material, the things we see with our eyes to learn how to do church, and Bishop Dag's ministry and the oil, the, the anointing of the Holy Spirit on his life really impacted and changed me in a big way. Um, in 2012, I was blessed to get a second visit. Paul wrote to the Corinthians and he said, because you have acknowledged me, I also acknowledged you. And on my way to Macedonia, I found it fit to pay you a visit. And on my return journey, a second visit. And I believe we received that second visit by the grace of God. Bishop Dag came through South Africa with the Healing Jesus campaigns. 2015, he came to Cape Town. 2017, I was blessed to also be part of hosting a GTW here in Cape Town. And I want to tell you, the Lord has helped us tremendously through the life of Bishop Dag Hewitt Moss. We have a beautiful cathedral now in Cape Town. We've been doing camps conferences, we've been planting churches in other parts of South Africa, and I thank the Lord for this relationship. I thank the Lord for Bishop Dag, it's impacted my life, my family, my church, and all the pastors connected to us in Cape Town. What a great servant of the Lord, a general I believe that I was blessed to meet in my time, and I thank God for this connection. I thank Him for the beautiful relationship. I want to stay connected because I've prospered greatly. As we reflect on these 20 years of divine intervention and supernatural growth, one truth resounds clear. From the quiet beginnings in Suham to the global impact felt today, the Give Thyself Holy Conference stands as a testament to God's faithfulness and the power of obedience to His call. The 
it's it's awesome. It's awesome. You know, I, I attend conferences, you know, all around the world. But you find that there is this unique focus on, you know, inspiring you to just be on fire for the kingdom, to want to do more for God, to attend greater things for the kingdom. He wants to take you where he has gone or where he's going. You know, I have this idea about African ministers generally that when you meet them on the when you meet them on the top of the loft and you ask them, how did you get there? They say, trust God. They will show you the ladder. Bishop, you know, Bishop Dag will show you the ladder and he will show you how to climb and get to where he has gotten to. He's been a modern day uh, New Testament Joseph for me, interpreter of my ministry dreams. I had a desire for ministry. God touched me at a very young age. About, I knew the call was there. It was definitely the anointing was there for ministry. But with regard to the local church and ministry, I, I there's something more I needed. Until I met Bishop Dagwood Mills and been exposed to his teachings and his books, and then I found out that this was the man, my Joseph, that interpreted my ministry dream, made it so easier for me. I really believe that God has raised him up to really, he has become one of the giants in ministry in Africa. It's not just, I've discovered the secret, I want to keep it to myself, he wants to broadcast it. He wants everybody to know about it. I regard him as an extraordinary uh, gift of God to uh, the nations, and not just for Ghana, but for the nations of Africa and the nations of the world. Uh, I think his, uh, his understanding of evangelism, church planting, the anointing and uh, principles of faith are, uh, are fantastic. And when you're exposed to his uh, very lively and entertaining speaking ministry, uh, the Holy Spirit speaks to your heart about things in such beautiful ways in the application to your own context. Sometimes I get amazed to know that uh, maybe people in Accra may not appreciate the gift as they would. But for me, I would fly miles and miles to come here because just what he has done, uh, how he has impacted my life, he has made me see things in a different way. He's inspired me. He's spoken into my life to do things that maybe I would have thought I can never do this. When a man preaches the gospel with evidence and there is no dilution, and, and I think this has been his pattern over the years, it's just Preaching the same thing, a man that is passionate for the kingdom of God, a man that is raising young men and young women whose hearts, you know, are, are passionate for the kingdom, and a man that is, you know, planting churches all over the world with passion, a man that is, you know, raising pastors and raising bishops who are passionate. Wow, I think, you know, you, you, you just want to learn from him. You want to see how is he doing it, you know? And when he preaches, it, it goes straight into your heart, you know? And he does it in such a way that um, you are never bored. You want to hear more. You want to hear more. As we look to the future, we are filled with anticipation, knowing that this movement of God will only continue to expand, touching lives and transforming nations until his work is fulfilled across the earth. This is the legacy of the Give Thyself Holy Conference, a legacy of faith, obedience, transformation, and the unstoppable spread of God's kingdom. Yeah.